To get information about human being, we are using fingers, all 10 fingers of the body. So the first question, why fingers? Why not nose or ears or something else? Because, you know, our hands and our fingers in particular, this is special part of our system which allows us to communicate with the world. You know that if you have babies, children, they need to touch everything. For them it's obligatory. Without touching, they don't get feeling of what's around. We shake hands, not just to see uh, if there are no knife <laughs> in hand, but to feel each other. And when you shake a hand with people, you feel their hands and you feel their energy. We exchange energy through our hands. That is touching your lover, it's a very special uh, feeling. And in our hands, we have the highest concentration of vessels, blood vessels. We have the highest concentration of nervous connections. And hands are related to all organs and systems of our body. We can have the description on uh, traditional Chinese medicine. It's description of meridiums and uh, acupuncture points. We have this description in traditional Korean medicine, so on and bone medicine again. We have some type of uh, medicine that represent every finger as a reflection of human body. So that is why our hands, our fingers in particular, those are most informative part of our body, even more than that. In our brain, we have sensitive areas of all organs and systems. And this is in particular part of the brain. So the sensitive part of our hands just nearby this area. And this is really one of the biggest part of a sensitive area of our brain. So that is why information that brain gets from our organs and systems comes directly to our hands. So this idea of connection between fingers and organs first have been developed by Chinese people in ancient times, thousands of years ago, and it is the basis of traditional Chinese medicine. Then later on it was accepted by Western medicine and first of all by Dr. Wall in Germany who developed his own system of acupuncture treatment and uh, diagnostics. Then it was developed later on by Dr. Mandel in Germany. He, he created his own system. We accepted all those systems. We transformed in accordance with our vision, with our clinical experience, and we created our own map of analysis. So, of course, the question is how we are sure that it's correct. Why? We have tremendous amount of research data. For the last, practically now it's uh, 25 years, we had research done in top level universities of Russia, medical universities, in different hospitals in the United States, in France, in Germany. And it was done, of course, by independent group of doctors, scientists. And their goal was to verify and to check whether it is what we are doing correct or is it wrong. And it was correlation between all classical technologies, all classical um, methods of, uh, of analysis of health, and our GDB Bible technology. It was shown that correlation is about 80-85%, depending on type of problem. So that is why we can for sure tell you, if you see this information on the screen, if you see information in our Bible programs, it is a real reflection of what's going on in the body. Of course, it's not diagnostics, very important. We don't make medical diagnostics. We make analysis. We make energy analysis of energy of organ systems, of the overall wellness, of stress level. Uh, and then professionals, would it be medical doctors, would it be practitioners can make diagnosis based on different analysis. 
and for normal uh, experienced doctor, of course, they need not only bywell, they need analysis of blood, they need analysis of activity of the body, and then they can make their conclusion. What does it mean, diagnostics? 